In this tutorial we will make a pillow like this one. You will need to download version 2.82 of Blender since it's where one of the options, or rather, the option that allow us to do something like this pillow in a very easy way. If you don't have downloaded Blender 2.82 already, I'll put a link on the description. We'll divide this tutorial into two parts. In this first part one will show you how easy it is to make a simple pillow. Let's start by adding a plane and apply the scale. Then we'll add a cube. Scale it on the y-axis, so it have a rough shape of a pillow. Place the cube a bit above the plane so it has space to fall. Don't forget to apply the scale. Now we're going to subdivide our pillow. Choose the plane or apply collision physics, so the pillow can interact with it when it falls. And apply a cloth simulation to the pillow. Scroll to the pressure option and activate it. Give it a value of 20. The value depends of the mesh size, the weight you give it to it and the amount of faces the mesh have. You have to play with the settings. Now we're going to apply the modifier so we can scale it without the need to run the simulation. Now we can scale it in the y-axis to make it thinner. And that's it, we have our pillow. In this second part we'll see that for that pillow to look good you need a couple of extra steps, and we will see a practical example in an architectural scene that I made some time ago. All the textures used in the scene and in the pillow are from 3dtextures.me. It's where I put all my free textures and you can download over 600 of them. At the end of the tutorial I show which textures I used to make the pillow and to make the scene. We're going to add a cube for our pillow. We'll scale the cube in the y-axis to shape it like a pillow. Don't forget to apply the scale. Changing to material preview mode. We place the pillow a bit above the couch so it can fall and be deformed. But this time we'll add loop cuts instead of subdivide it. I'll explain why. We add a bunch of loop cuts in these two directions. Now, in this side we'll add just a few loops cuts so the quads roughly match the ones on the other sides. This is for when we UV unwrap the mesh we end up with an even texture. We'll add a collision simulation to the couch, and a cloth simulation to the pillow. We activate the pressure option and give it a value of 20. It seems that the pillow is too heavy. Let's change its weight.
I'm rotating the pillow a bit so it can fall towards the back of the couch. You will need to play with the weight and pressure values until you're pleased with the results. Let's add a subdivision to the mesh so it can bend in a better way. With more subdivisions the simulations start to take longer to compute. Let's find a good enough frame where the mesh has enough wrinkles. We'll apply the modifier so we can manipulate the mesh. And let's add a subdivision modifier to make the pillow smoother. A bit more scaling in the y-axis so the pillow is a bit thinner. Now, let's place the pillow on its place. Let's give our pillow a material. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on activated you just need to press Ctrl Shift T and then choose your textures maps and the add-on will set up a PBR shader setup. Let's see the UV of our pillow. See what happens when we have different quads densities. We end up with a messed up texture. We're going to choose a middle loop and marking it as a seam. We just do a simple UV unwrap. It's not perfect but it's good enough for demonstration purposes. And here is our finished pillow, placed in the scene.
Let's just render it in Eevee and call it done. Thank you so much for watching. You know what to do if you like the video. And remember, be happy.